Hello everyone, it's me Marie in Marie's Country Life. How are you all doing? How's your gardening? Uh, it's June 2023. I have an update for you on my chayote plants. The last video I had, I think that was April or May, it was a quick or a short video about how my chayotes were doing. And as you knew, I had seven chayotes that came up. One was an eight year old, eighth season chayote. Thankfully, it came back. So it's the eighth year this year. And I have three chayotes that came up again for the third season. And three chayotes came up for the second time. So that was the last update. But today, I have another update for you. Because out of the blue, the two chayotes that I thought were not going to make it again this year. Because last year, it just produced some leaves and that was it. It didn't produce any chayotes or whatnot. And I did not even mulch it. I mulched it just a little bit, but not as thick as the rest of my chayotes. So here in the background, as you can see, they are lush and green. And last month, I noticed that two of the chayotes that were not doing really well last year came up. And so that makes it a total of nine chayotes total that came up this year. Uh, so they, they grew back. So basically last year I had nine chayotes and this year, nine chayotes came up so i will show you them all so i'm excited and it's a big surprise to me so i have an eight-year-old chayote i have three three-year-old chayote i will just say it a year old because it's actually a season so it came back for the third time so it's a third timer <laughs> i don't know how to say it so anyway so one eight-year-old chayote three three-year-old chayote and five two-year-old chayote. So they all came up. They all came back and grew back. So let me show them to you. I'm excited. So here are the chayotes of Marie. You can see here under the trellis, I have chayotes that are growing. I know it's, they are all grown now. Some of my followers were asking, how's your chayote? Please give me an update or send us updates. So here's the update. I'm sorry. I've been really busy. So I have nine chayotes this year that came up. They all grew back. I'm so surprised. So anyway, one, two, three, one, two, three, four. These four came up around late March and I had to cover them, all of them, the ones that uh, sprouted or came up earlier when it was still cold. I had to cover them. We had to cover them to protect them. But anyway, this one actually uh, died part of the stalk and some of the leaves were uh, affected by the drop the temperature drop so i'm thankful that they they did well even though some of them were affected when we had a cold temperature snap for a week or two uh, we had to cover them back with cardboard and some of the leaves just to protect them because they were already growing in march because it was already warm and then towards the end of march there was cold snap for a week so we had to cover them i'm so thankful that they came up they managed to grow back. And so one, two, three, these three, and the, the other one here. So this one here, it came up for the second time. That one, and also that one there. So I have, okay, this one is a, uh, it's on its third season. And this one here is also on its third season. And that one here, that one is on its third season. So I have three chayotes that came up on its third season and five chayotes came up for the second time and this one here is the oldest chayote i have here it's an eight year old chayote it came up for the eighth time it's not as big as the third uh, season chayote that is a third season chayote and that over there this one here is the eighth season chayote so it's an eight year old chayote i'll just want to say eight year old because it came back it grew back for the eighth time so over time eventually the the roots are not going to continue to grow. I mean, it's old. It's eight year old. So I don't know what's going to happen. I don't want to dig up the roots. Some people will eat the roots. I don't because I try to save them. I want them to grow back every year. So that's what happened. So on here, this is one of the chayotes on its third year, this one here and that one. So basically one, two, three. I have three chayotes that came up for the third time, one chayote for the eighth time. And to my surprise, sometime last month, I noticed that there's something growing here. And I realized that they are chayotes. So there's one chayote that I planted here last year, but it just produced some leaves and vines, but it didn't really produce any chayotes, not, none. It was actually a malnourished chayote, and I'm surprised that it came back. So I noticed it last year, and I didn't even put a lot of mulch last year. And also this one here. So that's the eighth chayote, and this is the ninth chayote that came back. 
I did not put a lot and we did not put a lot of mulch. Leaf mulch, as you can see, it's thin, but I'm surprised that they survived because I don't know. Anyway, it's, it's a miracle that they, they survived because last winter we had like negative 20 with freezing wind chill and we tried to protect the roots, but I wasn't sure if it's going to come back up because I don't know, it was malnourished looking and it did not produce anything. So I just kind of ignored it. I didn't do anything much to it. I was just, okay, whatever, but they're growing. So there you go. I put more mulch around. Putting mulch around the base of the plant is going to help with so moisture and water retention, especially if you live in an area where it doesn't get a lot of rain. So we put a lot of mulch, leaf mulch, and this is what it protects and keeps the roots during winter time because it will serve as insulation. And it will also help during summertime to retain the moisture and water, especially if you live in an area where it doesn't get a lot of rainfall. Okay, and one thing that I want to show you is that it earlier when it was about maybe a couple of feet the plants a couple of feet tall they got some bug bites i don't know it was so humid around march uh so they had like bugs or squash beetle or something like that and it affected the young leaves so i had to spray with orange uh solution i boiled some orange peel and after that i drain it and i put some baking soda and dish soap and i spray it all over but if you m make sure that if you spray something on your plants that are infected or affected with some some pest make sure that when you do that that you do it when it's towards evening time so it doesn't scorch it it does not affect your plants and I also i sprinkle some diatomaceous earth so i don't know which one which um helps deter those bugs and pests from eating the leaves because they were infecting or destroying the chayote leaves so anyway and this is the update as you can see they are lush and green and i'm going to try to fertilize the chayote this year so there you have it friends i have nine chayotes nine chayotes grew back nine chayotes came back one uh, is an eight-year-old chayote. That's my oldest chayote. And three are three-year-old chayotes. And five are two years old. The reason why I say years old because I don't know how to say. <laughs> so anyway, should I say two-timer? No. It's, a, it's, a, it's in its second year. So it grew back. Five grew back for the second time around. And one grew back for the eighth time. And three grew back for the third time. I'm just so excited. I did not expect that two of the tiny, teeny chayotes that were... Uh, growing last year that were like malnourished that it surprised me so anyway behind me is our greenhouse and so there you go if there's a will there's a way and as you can see they are growing green and lush I'm going to fertilize my Toyotas this year I usually don't bother fertilizing them because there's a lot of mulch and we put the very first time when we planted these Toyotas we put compost and that was it I normally don't fertilize my plants. I don't know why, but I should, right? Just to add nutrients and nourishment to the plant. But I will try to fertilize them this year. Hopefully that will prevent uh, leaves yellowing because the base of the plants have thick mulch. As you can see, they have thick mulch. Thick mulch is going to help with soil retention and eventually the, the earthworms are going to eat them up and they are going to be food and they will be incorporated into the soil and it will make the soil really rich and healthy for the plants so there you have it friends i have nine chayotes that came up i have nine chayotes that grew back so i look forward to more chayote harvest this year so stay tuned i'm going to update you i hope that you're doing well in your gardening and give me an update on your chayotes and share in the comment section how your chayotes are doing okay bye for now thanks for watching